kept me waiting. I'm sorry, okay? I had to do some house chores my mother gave to me before going to the market. Is this the book? Yeah, this is the book. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, there is something I want to tell you. Look, if it is about me returning the book, I will return it as soon as I am done reading it. I promise. It's not about you returning the book. It's even more than that. Okay. What is it? Hola. I have strong feelings for you. Meaning? I love you. From the depth of my heart, I do. And I mean every word that comes out from my mouth. I... Please, give me this opportunity. Give us this opportunity. I promise to take care of you. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I love you. And I mean every word. What are you doing here? Jelly Mema, what are you doing here? I want, I want you not to, I don't want to see you with this boy again. Hey, Mama, I Mama, just, I just came to get this book from him. I want to study it for my exams. I see. You came to get a book? Yes. You want to study? Yes, for my, for my work. And he was holding you, romancing you. You think I'm, I, I wasn't seeing where I was coming? Eh? He was holding you like a pussycat. Romancing you like his pillow. Eh? And you? I thought I've told you to stay away from my daughter. I don't want to see you anywhere around my daughter. Eh? What were you telling her? No, what useless thing are you telling her? You don't want to go. Because I know there's nothing reasonable you'll be telling my daughter by this hour of the day. What are you telling her? Not eh? Not to mama. Avoid me. I said avoid me. I'm saying this for the last time. I don't want to see you anywhere around this, my daughter. Do you know what Solomon said? If I ever see you close to my daughter in this village, you will do. In fact, you see what I'll do to you. You will see what I'll do to you. I'm not fear. Susan, 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 you that I am coming. Oh, 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 oh. You want to tell me that I must take permission from you before I come to my son's house? Or is it to live At who? Big on here. We are with my son. He is not back from work yet. My son is not back from work. And what are you doing at home? You just sit here, enjoying his morning, without working. You left everything for my son. He will be the one to uh, bring food in the house, to take care of you, take care of the whole family. For what? You cannot render any help to him. If care is not taken, when you have my voice, you will eating and you hid it somewhere. Of where? Mama, I don't have time for you. Eh? Jessica! What? You don't have time for me. Okay, you better have time for me, yo. It's better you have time for me now because I can't prepare. I can't prepare for you. In 10 years, my son married you. 10 good years. 10 years is not 10 hours, so it's not 10 days, it's not 10 weeks, it's not 10 months, but 10 good years. You have nothing to show for it. Of
God on time. God on time. For how long? For 10 years. See, let me tell you. I am giving you two good weeks, a whole two weeks, for you to open your legs wide. Spread it wide, very wide. If you don't know how to spread it wide, you tell me, I can hold it for you so that my son will enter and give you kids for you to give me grandchildren. And on the at the expiration of that two weeks, eh, if you do not miss your period, I will go straight back to the village and bring a seaside girl that will give my son many children and give me grandchildren. And on the they play. No ever, useless girl. The only thing you know is to spend my son's money. Don't worry, tell her you will see what will happen. What are you still doing there? Come and carry this into my room. Don't you know your work? You don't know your duty. Carry it and bring it to my room, right? Come on, yeah. Come on, do it. Hello, honey. How are you? Hello. You need to come home immediately. Your mother. Your mother is here. How possible would that be? How, how can she come to the house without giving us the prior information? Oh, honey. Listen, listen, just calm down. Okay, just calm down. Take everything easy, all right? I, I'll be there in the GV, all right? Married man, and uh, I'm still single. So I guess your wife might have taken good care of your stomach before coming to the office. I presume your case is different from mine. <laughs> Look, that's one. Being married has nothing to do with whether you get hungry or not. I just have to finish this. I just want to concentrate and finish it. And it's alright then. So, uh, do you want to get anything for you? No, don't worry. Sure. Yeah, once I'm done with this, I'll go out and get something for myself to eat. Okay. Alright, see you. Alright, enjoy yourself. Ah, huh? oh, you too. Your mother called me a witch because of my inability to have given you children. Am I God that gives children? Mama, why did you do that? Is that question meant for me to answer? Then, if she is not a witch, let her prove it by giving me grandchildren. Is that asking for too much? Mama, you know I respect you so much as my mother. But I want you to know that I'm a married man. As a result, there are boundaries you shouldn't cross. But as a respect as my mother, please, stop calling my wife a witch. She is not a witch. Can you just listen to yourself, Bernard? Are you making sense at all? Listen to what he said. I gave birth to you. I carried you in this my womb for nine good months. I breastfed you, clothed you. What is even wrong with you? Mama, nothing. Nothing I is wrong with me, Mama. Nothing. She has just cast a spell on you, and that spell is working on you. That is it. That is why you are behaving this way. Enough, Mama. Your son is not under any spell whatsoever. We love each other and that's all that matters. Who is love? If you love him, why don't you give us grandchildren? Why don't you give me grandchildren? Your mama gave birth to you. I gave birth to my son. 
The whole people in this world, they were giving birth to. Why can't you do your own duty? Mehuku, Munya Mumma. Is that asking for too much? Eh? You not say more. Your son is not under a spell. Are you not a witch? If you are not a witch, prove it. Give me grandchildren. I'm getting. How about it now? No, come. Come back and hurt me. We are met. Keep on, boy. Nana, I'm a fleece. God's time is the best. God is the giver of children. Mama, I don't expect you to come from the village to my house to be causing havoc, disunity, misunderstanding between me and my wife. Mama, I love my wife so much. Please! Like I said earlier, I do not want to raise my voice on you, but please, Mama, I wouldn't tolerate this in my house. No. Who is love? If you love your wife and she loves you, let her give me grandchildren. Love is not meant to be said. It's not meant to be said. It's to prove it. If you love somebody, you prove it. Give me grandchildren. Prove your love to me. Ha! Is it wrong? Did I say anything wrong? Is it wrong for me to fight for my rights? To fight for my son? God, please. Help me. Okay. I know what to do. Jessica. Jessica! Jessica, come out here! You will have to give me grandchildren! Eh? Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything that happened. Please. You don't need to be sorry about anything. I think your mother is right. You need to get another wife. I will give you children so I can have peace in my home. Honey, stop. Stop! Will you just stop this? Honey, we labored together to build this home. I met you when I had nothing. We struggled, we labored together to establish what I have today. I can't throw all this away, honey, please. The pressure from your mother is getting out of her. Can't you see it? It's okay. I promise you, I will handle her excesses, okay? You better do something about it. You better do something about it because the next time this happens, I don't even know how to react to it. You better do something. It's okay. I know how you feel. But trust me. Hold me by my word because my word is my bond. I won't fail you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, my daughter. How are you? Oh, first and first, I, honey, meet my mother, the most beautiful woman on this planet Earth. Ageless queen, the only woman that will be old without growing old. <laughs> <laughs> I will love to meet you, mama. And um, mm. my beautiful angel, her name is Jessica. Ah. Um, the girl I want to get married to. Eh? Yeah. Hey, Jessica. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Mama. My son, you have eyes for beautiful things. Go on. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Nam, where are you from? <laughs> ah, Imo State. My own state. Where in Imo State? Okay. Hello, one name. You are welcome, eh? You are welcome. Um, ne. Hey, man. You have to stay with me in this village for some time. Hmm? So that we will be able to know each other. Very well. 
okay, that's fine. But for how long? Um, just two months. Only two months. Two oh. months? Uh -huh. That's a long time. <laughs> it's um, short. Okay, L let me talk to the uh, yes, ma'am. Um, ma, Mommy? Uh, after talking with her, mm. you come to the house. Eh? Okay, I prepared something good for you. <laughs> eh? Okay, ma'am. Me, I'm going to take you to Why would your mom want me to stay in this village for two months? Oh, honey, come on, that's the norms. You understand the norm with her mother's here in this part of the world. You just have to stay with them for a while so they can understand you and you get to understand them as well. But two months is too much. You shouldn't want to get married to me. Oh, come on, honey. It is not much. Huh? Just too much. Okay? It's too much. Honey, come on. It is not. Let's go inside. My son. Hello. You are not going to marry that girl. Why? I do not like her. Mama, for the fact that you do not like her doesn't change anything. And I don't know why you hate her that much. But mom, please, give it time. With time, you will get to like her. You have to choose between that girl and me. Oh, come on, Mama. You're taking this too far. Huh? You're taking this too far. Like I said, Mama, it's a matter of time. You will get to like her. She, she's a lovely girl. Trust me, Mama. If you insist and marry her, I will do away with ah, my life. Ah, Mama, stop. <laughs> stop, Mama, stop. You're not doing away with your life. I will marry her. As a matter of fact, I love her so much. She's going to be my wife. Please. Bernard. You are choosing another girl over your own mother. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Your mother. Mama, I love you and I love my woman. I love you so much and I love her so much. Mama, please don't, don't play a dicey one here. I love both of you. Please. I'm aware she hates me right from when this incident occurred. She will never like me. Honey, please, stop talking that way. Let's give peace a chance. This peace talk or negotiation will not work. Can't you see it? It won't. So, what do you want? We had absolute peace before she came. I want her to leave us alone. Because if she doesn't leave, I'll pack my things and leave the house for her. Come on, honey. It hasn't gotten to that point. I meant every word I said. You have the chance to do the right thing. Else when my madness starts, you can't control it. Alright, honey. Give me a little time to to handle this. Fine. Thank you. Thank God you came home before me. Send me my food. I am I'm so famished. You didn't get any food on your way home. Oh, I did not get any food on my way home. I went there, but they were closed when I got there. Oh, let's go. I'm sorry, but I did not prepare anything. Sweetheart, how can you say you didn't prepare anything? You came home before me. The least you would have done is go into the kitchen and make something for both of us. Don't you tell you that, please? 
The fact that you said that the, the, the restaurant has closed, then your tummy should be closed by now too. Have I said something wrong? Kim, good morning. Good morning. I'm sure you're still angry over what happened yesterday. I'm sorry I wasn't able to prepare our food. But you know the nature of my job. I came back late yesterday and I was very tired. So because of the nature of your job, this marriage should suffer? Have you thought about it? This marriage should suffer because of because you're working and I'm, and I'm working. What are we supposed to do? We should continue like this. Then before we know it, this marriage would hit the rock. So what would you have me do? I think we should hire a nanny or a chef or something. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of right now. You're working, I'm working, we cannot continue to eat out. I would have suggested we should get somebody from the city here, but no, I don't want it. I think we should go to the village and find somebody. I would have gone to my village to find somebody, but I mean, I don't know anyone. Right. I'll just try and get one from the village. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go and freshen up. We're late for work. in order to do well in the forthcoming exams. No. I will advise you stop bothering yourself with this reading. Hmm? Stop reading. Why, Mama? Why would you say such a thing? You see, even if you make it through your exams, I don't have money to train you further. Eh? Hey, God, bro. And so, please, I, I, you better stop. Uh, stop, stop, stop torturing yourself with the, the reading. I don't have money. My, this thing you are saying to me is discouraging. It's discouraging now. What would you want me to do now? What? You can go and learn a trade. Eh? Uh -huh. Or uh, find a skill. Uh -huh. In my case, I have to You know how to wrap a gele, a tie. Uh -huh. Go and perfect it. And what call? Because I can't start what I cannot finish. Where will I see money to uh, acceptance fee, uh, development fee, and the rest? No, I don't have money. I have to say what I can do. Biko, better think about it. Preparing a sumptuous and delicious meal for my son and myself. 
You should at least ask me my plans for breakfast, Mama. <laughs> ask you your plans for breakfast. <laughs> it's not necessary because you don't know how to cook. Now that's an insult, Mama, and I don't like it. Did I say it for you to like it? Don't you know that the truth is always better? Do you know how to cook? Since I came to this house, it's only two types of meal that you've been serving my son. Do I even call it meal? Noodles and tea. Eh? That is the only thing you have been serving my son. And this improper meal you've been serving him has made him to become thinner. He used to be further than this. Eh? Please, allow me to cook something sumptuous and good and serve my son so that he will look good and healthier. Mama, I have had enough of your insult. Okay? I think you should get out of my kitchen this minute. Are you commanding me? Yes. Or did I hear you personalize this, your kitchen? My husband's kitchen. Go to your own husband's kitchen. Oh, for your information, this is my son's house. And this kitchen belongs to me as well because I have access to it. I have been living with my son before you came into the picture. So be guided how you are saying whatever you are saying. I have to cook. You do nothing and you cannot frustrate me in this house. In my son's house. We'll see to that, Mama. We'll see to that. Look at that. Butterfly that takes herself in place. Let's see. If you ever want to fall, let us fall. Ah, I cannot cook something good for my son. Eh? And when I want to cook, you want to challenge me. Come and do it, let me see. Come! You are feeding my son noodles. Is he a bed? Is my son a bed? Is he a chicken? In a in a in a in a in a in a no do every day no do every day no do open it again I'm here I will take care of my son and make sure he fits he fits well. Honey, I will get back to you as well. Honey, for the, for the, now, for you. You need to go and talk to your mother because she has started again. Honey, calm down, calm down. What is it? Can you imagine? She went into my kitchen to cook without my permission. And when I inquired why, she called me all sorts of names and even said that I'm a terrible cook. Honey, am I a terrible cook? She said that to you? Yes, she did. Bad cook. Wait. Jessica, you reported me to my son. Bernard, she reported me to you and you believed her. Okay? You believed her automatically. Mama, did I lie against you? Did you not say all that to me? Huh? So, Mama, tell me, what happened? Good question. My son, can you just imagine? Imagine Jessica. Jessica of here today. Ordering me around in my son's house. You know what she said? That before I cook anything in this kitchen, that I must seek for her consent and that she must approve it before I will go ahead to cook in my son's house. Oh, I'm not going to know Eh? So, Mama, tell me. What is wrong with that? Bernard. Mama. Are you actually the one saying this? Did you say that? I said it. So, you did not see anything wrong in what she said? Not at all. Ah. So, it has gotten to this extent. Hey! Jessica, I can see 
see that her spell on you is working. And you, Jessica, I can see that you believe so much in the potency of your charms and spells on my son. I will show you. I can make any kucha. I will make sure that I untie my son. I will show you the reason why I am being called Alice the Tigress. Kuchalomo. Kuchalomo. Bet me. I will let you know that I gave birth to him. I took care of him. I will show you and tell you that I have been living with him before you came into the kucha. You cannot put a son that between us. No way. You cannot tear us apart. Mother and son, that is what we are. You are just a wife. Kutano Mokangwa, okay? Bet me. I know of you. You don't know how to cook. You have been feeding him with noodles. Mumu, is he a bed? Or a bed in every noodles? Your mother is in Want your mother to stay clear my part. Because the next time she repeats this, you will like my girl. What will you do? Mbai! Jessica, come and beat me! Ma, ma, enough, 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 enough! I do not want to raise my voice in the presence of my wife, but what you are doing is wrong, mama! It is wrong! Mami! I said you know what you are doing. Mami! Mami! Look at you. They have turned you to a remote, uh, whatever. Happy Ago, a follow, Happy Ago, a Jebe. Don't worry. I am coming for you. You will come back to my loving son. This food, hey, it's just come where senior jalo, come for the car for I will cook and you must eat. I will feed my son very well. Ah ah, look at him. My son used to be fatter than this. You know how many noodles? Oh no, ata. You call me thinner and thinner. I want to show you something. Okay. Close your eyes. Thank you. But it's not really necessary though. Don't you like it? I like it. If you do like it, like you said, then why would you say it's not necessary? I want us to stop seeing each other. Why will you say such a thing? It's going to be very difficult for me. I really love you. I love you from the depth of my heart. Among all the guests in this village, you are the only guy I care for. Please give me this opportunity to prove my love for you. It's to listen to me. This relationship is, is distracting me. I need to focus. I need to focus and learn a skill in order to better my life. I need to do this for me. I hope you understand. I, I do understand, but then it's going to be difficult for me too. Because I'm going to miss you. I will miss you too. But then I need to do this for me. Okay? Okay. I want to tell you something. Okay, what is it? I'll be traveling to the city and search for greener pastures. And I promise you, as soon as I make money, I will come back to marry you. Please. Will you wait for me? I don't know what to say. Please, just promise me that you're going to wait. Um, I need to go before my mom starts looking for me. little from the food we have inside. No, Mama, I did not eat. Why? The food will not be enough for the both of us. 
I will branch to the market and get something that we are going to prepare. From the money Mame Maker will pay me for weeding a farm. Mom, weeding on an empty stomach. Can you cook? Mama, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's okay. May God will bless you all. Amen. God will strengthen you, no? You see, okay. Let me run about. Someone, please come and show me the best. Because, okay, in that case, we'll go and see your large. Yes. Yeah. Can we go now? Okay. If you're ready, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. You heard her. That's the reason we are here. Um, well, as you can see, my daughter is not yet back from work. So when she returns, I'll discuss it with her. Please, Mama, discuss it with her. Convince her for me. I promise you she will be well taken care of. Oh. And she'll be paid for every single service that she's being rendered to me. Exactly. <laughs> well, you know, promises are easier made than kept. Uh, but since you said you are going to pay her well for whatever services she will render to you, that's the problem. I will try to convince her. Hmm. Discuss it with her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. Uh, I have a little token for you. Please manage this. Oh, Mom. You are what even giving her money. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I'm even coming to the house to collect from what the one she brought from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, won't work. And that won't be a problem. You're yeah, welcome. That won't be a problem. Thank you. Yeah, we'll anyway, go. we'll be leaving. So, and we're expecting to hear from you once she's back. Definitely. Whatever that comes out of our discussion, eh, I will let you know. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank Mama, honestly, I do not know how to say this, but I have to find a way to bear my mind to you. 
you are my mother. And as a result, I love you so much. You have a very special place in my heart. But please, Mama. Your continuing staying in my house is beginning to bring incident misunderstanding and quarrel between you and my wife. Um, there is something you are not saying the right way. You are a remote controller, right? Meaning? So you don't know. She controls you. Anyhow she presses you. That is how you behave. If she presses ping pong, you move. If she presses pong, you stand. Can you say anything without her telling you what to do or say? You mean weird. Mama, do you see what I'm talking about? Obviously, you do not love my wife. Since you came to my house, Mama, we cease to live in peace. Is it my fault that you are not living in peace? Or oh, my fault? Okay, let's not argue on that. This time around, just tell me, what did she ask you to tell me? Come out with it, because I know that there is something somewhere which you are trying to identify the way to say. Say it. I'm listening. Mama, I am sorry to say this, but you have to go back to the village. Hey! Senat, so it has reached to this extent. Did I not tell you that, you, you, that she is your remote control? So that was what she asked you to come and tell me, to go back to the village. Because on your own, you cannot tell me that. I know the son I gave birth to. You are not asking me to leave your house. So where are they wrong? I will leave and come back for her. Where is that stupid woman? Where is that Jessica? Jessica, come here and tell me why you are turning my son against me mama. in this house. If I'm one more again, what is it? Mama. I am not turning your son against you, okay? All I am doing is stop you from running my home for me. Yeah. I just had you to be all day around in my husband's house like that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. So that was the reason you asked him to tell me to go back to the village. So where I will go back to the village because I know I came from somewhere. Don't worry. I'm a mission you see. I know that you throw so much on the potency of the time you are using to sign him. But don't worry. I will go back to the village and come back for you. And I must untie my son and bring to him a woman that is truthful. A woman that will give me grandchildren. Because you cannot do it. You are just a bad woman. Stupid. Senseless. Worthless. Hey, mama. No, let me go and find my son. I will leave here. After all, here is no longer comfortable for me. What I had. What a shit. They ask you to come here to give me grandchildren. You are just on here as an object. Sitting, sitting. Stop letting him fall. That is the only thing. Mama. You know. I will bring someone that will give me what I want. Nonsense. I need my own child. I need my own child. Mama. It's okay, it's okay. I will handle the whole situation. She's going to leave. I'm not going to have our peace again. I'm not going to live in peace. I'm not going to have It's all my child. How did the work go today? It was fine. Uh, she even gave me the number of one of her friends. She said I will work for her. 
But mama, she did not give me money. You. So I was not able to go to the market to get the food items like I promised. Ah, so don't worry, eh? Don't worry. I know that you'll be tired and hungry eh? because you had a very hectic day. And so I prepared something. Uh -huh. We were very fancy now that I prepared something for you. Prepared something? Yes. But mama, I am very sure that when I left this house, there was no food. Mm -hmm. And you did not have any money. So who gave you the money you used in making the food? Adako. Mm -hmm. uh, you know Adako's daughter, the one that lives in the city. Eh? She came looking for you. So when they were about to leave, she gave me some money. So I have to put her there, buy some items and make food. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, but I can do that. So Mama, why, why is your friend's daughter looking for me? It's for good. It's for good. <laughs> it's for good. Uh, how? Don't worry. Go and freshen up. Go and take your bath. Eh? Eat food. When you come back, I will tell you the, the purpose of coming. You know go? Mm, I will tell you. Okay. In case I'm here, it's good. Do you take anybody something? <laughs> so why are you afraid? I'm going to go and freshen up. Oh, mom. Food, okay. I've been tolerating my existence. No, it's okay. I think you should let her go. Honey, it's okay. Alright? Remember she's still my mom. I know. Everything will be fine. My mom. I am ready to go back to the village and I want you to drop me at the park or do I still need to take excuse from her? Uh, Mama, the bitter truth is that um, I don't have fuel in my car. But don't worry, I'll call a, a cab guy to take you to the park. You don't have fuel in your car? Oh, don't worry, I'll call a cab guy. Uh, honey? Um, cat, uh, cat, 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 still on the step. The phone number, right? <laughs> Mama? Mama? What is this? That is the only way to break the spell she cast on you. Yes! Mama, you pour your on us? Yes! So that my son's eyes will clear! Hey? What do you mean? That you will call a cat for me when my own son, my son, has a cat. You don't have money to put fuel in your car. Oh yeah, it's a wild error. Don't take me to the park. No sense. I will find my way. Eh? There's no way I'll wait for you to get a car for me. I can find my way. Then please, I'll tell you that I've been wrong. Mama? Mama? She wants to employ you as a housekeeper hmm? and she promised to pay you well. Mama, I'm just said. Why? Mama, see these city people, you cannot trust them. Do not trust any word that comes out from their mouth. Fana, see, I see. They are liars. No, not my friend's daughter. Hmm? She promised. In fact, she told me categorically that she will take good care of you and she will pay you well. Eh? See, Mama, I know the city people. Mama, the way I'm looking at you now is like that your first daughter used sweet mouth and brainwashed you. Mama, I am very okay with the little money I am making. Okay? I will save up and I will go and learn a skill. That will enable me to make more money. I am not going to any city. I am okay here. Just allow me to do my farm work and make my money in peace. My dear, I want the best for you. You see, village and city, 
are incomparable. Eh? So you have this opportunity to tell her this is what you want and this is what you don't want. And if she agrees to your terms and conditions, uh -huh, then you two, you'll be in the better position to serve her well. Think about it. Eh? Think about it. So you don't like me in the village. You want to send me off? Oh, it's for your own good, eh? It's not that I don't want you in the village, but I want you to be a better person. They are not in the city. I always say I work a family. My daughter will go and become a better of better her. Eh? Be your better self. That, that is what my mother told me. Hmm. Uh, uh, we have already discussed the matter. Hello, <laughs> Shimon. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bado. Oh? I promise you, you will never regret working for me. I will treat you as my own daughter. I promise you. Okay, I, I, I said, um, I wanted to say, um, let me think about it, but. I I no, 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 no. We are all one. There, no? There is nothing to think about it. Okay. I have agreed to work for it. Oh! <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Olachi. Thank you. Thank you. Olachi. Thank you very much. Oh? Thank you. You are my personal person. Thank you. Thank you. Our mothers are witnesses to it. Ah, we are witnesses. At least. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, um, when are we going to the city? Um, we're supposed to be leaving by tomorrow, so you have to go and pack up your things on time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, no, Mama, no, no. let's go so I can go prepare my things. I'm already seeing myself in the city. <laughs> 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 really good, my darling. Thank you. <laughs> ah, what is ah, it? What is it? The cold door. Cold. You did not tell me that so your, your car is freezer. I would have one car gun now. You want to kill me. No, now. It's just the car air condition. It's an AC. That's all. Sorry, sorry. Eh? Did you at some point suffer cold or something? Maybe when you were a child? Yes, yes. I had Ah, no wonder. No wonder. Oh, please go and get your bag and go inside. Sweetheart, how was the trip? It was okay, but it was good, right? <laughs> I know. You are a rough driver. You just <laughs> hope you are not rough on the road. No, I wasn't. You came quite early. I tried, right? <laughs> Do you have something? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I make sure that I have more than Welcome to my house. What are you doing? The code in your car. The code here is too much. It's going to give me like. Mortuary in the sports church. It's going to give me so much. What are you talking about? I pray. Come. Come. That is just an air condition. You have to speak up your, your, your mentality. You are now a city girl. Hey. It, it's okay. Let me turn the AC off for you, alright? It's just an air condition. How can you say my house is a mortuary? It's too cold. It's too cold. You want to kill me? It's too cold. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Eh? Are you feeling better now? Well, yeah, come, let's go to the Abby, my love. Yes, please. Is it not better I go to, into the kitchen to prepare water, boil hot water to bed with so I will not die? No. There is a water heater in the room. It will make you warm and hot while taking your bed. Okay. Eh? Yeah, let's go. Come, 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 go.
come inside. Thank you. Take the set of food. Once again, you're welcome to my home. Thank you. So what do I offer you? Mm. No, nothing. I'm okay. Mm. Are you sure? Very sure. Okay. So tell me, to what do I owe this August this? Um, I came to ask if you'd be attending Nancy's baby shower. So we can go together. Um, actually, I don't think I would want to attend. I'm not in the right frame of mind. I have told you to stop torturing yourself emotionally. Please do not deny yourself the pleasure of mixing with other people. Please, I beg you. My dear, I am tired of being mocked by my fellow women because I can't conceive. Can't you see? It seems to me that you haven't forgotten what happened in your last birthday party. I have forgiven them. But forget. That is very hard. It's very hard to forget. Misunderstood her. Hmm? Please take it easy. All right. <laughs> you know what, my sister? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Listen, girls. Please just take it easy. Take what easy? I beg. Don't go and rubbish in my face. Thank you. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. What did I say wrong? So I have succeeded in showing you every part of the house and how to use the facilities in the kitchen with time you get used to the environment. You can see. I know a lot of things, so stop looking at me like a village girl. I'm used to all these facilities. Really? Yes, no. You and I know that you don't know them. Stop pretending. 
Auntie, I used to go to our parish priest's house. He has all these things in his house. So I used eh? to clean them for him. Yes, I used to see everything. I'm used to them. Okay. Just make sure you get used to the facilities and use them well. That's my concern. Okay. I am done. Go and continue what you're doing. How are you now? I'm fine, oh. I'm looking so good. Thank you. Anyways, have, have you heard from Jessica? Jessica? Yes. Hope there's no problem. Yes, there's no problem, but Hedro called me and she was like that she, she didn't like our attitude towards Jessica on her birthday. Our attitude? Yes. Oh, I didn't see anything wrong with what we did now. I didn't see anything wrong in we saying um, an embarrassing word. Like, why would Jessica try to rub it in our face? Eh? That her husband is better than us. Why? Babe. No, I think we overreacted. So what are we going to do? Since we overreacted, what we do? Apologize to her. Apologize to her. Yes. To Jessica. Calm down, down. Eh? Calm down. So you call her. Is it you that will apologize to her? Apologize on my behalf. We both apologize to her. Okay. Don't have that time. Don't worry. Actually, let's just go to her house. Alright. Why is babe? African queen. How are you fine? Uh -uh. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Sir, Ma, are you great fast? Really? Yes. Oh, sweetheart, since she hasn't meet already, let's just hurry up with that okay? Oh. We are not going to be late for the world. She's just wept. Blood of Zakaria. What is this? Utarabu and Egusi Sukma. Wait, hmm. uh, Olachi. Sir? You made Utarabu and Egusi soup for breakfast. Yes, sir. We eat Utarabu in the morning and Utarabu in the night for foundation. Are you alright? What stupid foundation? Who makes some Utarabu with Egusi soup in the morning for breakfast? Ma, for stamina and vitality. Oh, Jesus went. Hey, ne. I'm off, eh? No, my love, you cannot be off without me. Better. I'm going behind you. That's okay now, so I'm going. I, I Enjoy you. your water apple. I thought you were going to eat water apple and breakfast. Breakfast. I'll be talking nonsense. For, for strength, though. For strength, though. What did I do? But this is what we eat in the village. It's you. You have strength. You oh God. The push you stand gallant. Hey, baby. Fine. How's your day at work? Mm. I miss you, babe. I miss you too. How was your day? Well, um, there was a little issue at the office today. Really? Yes, about a missing document. Oh, was it found? Not yet, but let me just freshen up. I'll come down and give you the watch. Right? Okay, I can't wait. Alright, just give me uh, 10 minutes at most. No, make it 5 minutes. Welcome, sir. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, sir. No, no. Baby, I'm waiting for you. Five minutes. Okay, sure. Ma. Yes? There's something I want to tell you. Ah. Uh -huh. Go on, what is it? Uh, Ma. Uh, I like you. I like you because you have eyes for good things. 
I, I don't understand. Emma, look, your husband is very, very handsome. I swear, he's very, very handsome. And he's the type of man women go after in the village. Talk more of the city. <clears throat> Why I'm saying this is because I don't like the way your friends need to look at you. Mm. You need to put your eyes down and watch your friends. They are not nice people. Okay. Is that all? That's it. Though. I just say I should let you know because the way their eyes is always going chum chum chum, putting their eyes in where it's not supposed to be. It's not, it's not right. So you need to be a Look at them. I've heard you. Thank you. to beg your husband on my behalf so that he can talk to Desmond. You know, I love him so much. I want us to settle our differences. Okay. I'll talk to my husband. Really? And I'll get back to you whatever he says. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I love you. <laughs> um, friends, I think this whole thing is going to take a whole lot of time. Really? Yes. I think there is an easy approach to this whole thing. It's an easy procedure, then spell it out. Cut. Delay is dangerous, you know they say. Of course. And um, even, I think you should give Sandra your husband's number. <laughs> Excuse me, my dear. Then Sandra here will call your husband. And your husband will link her up together. <laughs> you are right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bloody. Call his number, call her. <laughs> you know, you're very smart. I know. You are so smart. Thank you. And at the same time, you are stupid. You're such a big fool. Ah, now get out of my house. It has not happened to that spot of you hurricane idiots. Leave my house right now. Then why now? Get out of my house! You have me. You have to come to walk into my house and tell me to give me my husband's number. That's why I love him. What is that? What's bothering you? Sit down. Tell me. 
What is it? What's bothering you? Auntie, can I confide in you? Talk to me. I have been treating you like a sister, or haven't I? So what is the problem? <clears throat> it's, it's, it's about my boyfriend. When we were in the village, he said he wants to travel to the city in search of greener pastures. That when he comes back, he's going to get married to me. But lately, I've been getting information that he, he has been sending money to his parents and seen this, and he doesn't ask about me. I don't know if he's seen another girl. That's why you're bulging yourself. My dear, no man is meant to be trusted. Just live your life and be happy with it. Move on. And see, are you, are you saying he, he has another woman? The most important thing is that you move on with your life. Choose yourself. When he sees you, he will no longer see you as a village champion. Okay? Okay, Auntie. Thank you for your kind words. It's okay. Now let's go inside. I need you to do something for me. Okay. Let's go. You're welcome, girls. So, what can I offer you girls? I'm okay. Don't, don't bother yourself. We're okay. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. we're fine. Very fine. We're actually here to see you concerning what happened in Jessica's birthday. <sighs> girls, you guys really messed up. Yes, I know. I mean, what happened in Jessica's birthday party was so bad. You guys did that wrong. I even tried calling her, like... No. I know, what we did was so bad. But I tried calling her. She wasn't picking her calls. Yes, exactly. I even sent her voice notes. I, I, I sent her mails. She's, she was not replying. I don't know what to do with you. Please, help us talk to her. It's okay. You just say you're really sorry about it. It's fine. I'll talk to her. I mean, anybody in her shoes would definitely be hot. Thank you so much. Please help us talk to her. She's our friend. The most important thing is that we regret what we did. Exactly. And it's the devil's handwork. Help us tell her we love her so much. I mean, it's just the devil's handwork. It's okay. I'll talk to her. But please, girls, let it not happen again. We all know what this girl is going through. Please. 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 Even though Olachi is a very naive and timid girl, one cannot deny the fact that she's a wonderful cook. You're right. And I can see that you are really enjoying her food. Well, I am enjoying it, but not as much as I enjoy yours. Uh, 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 you uh. are the best cook in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let's call it spare the speed. Yeah. She is good. Oh, yeah, she's we didn't make a mistake in employing her after At all. all. Paul, I give you A1 for that. Good morning. Good morning. Oga, okay. I was cleaning the compound this morning and I noticed that your car is very dirty, so I washed it for you. Well, actually, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much, okay? You're welcome, sir. So don't worry. From now, Olachi will be washing your car for you every day. Ah, no, 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 Olachi. You don't have to do that. I will always take my car to the car wash for, for thorough wash. Oh, God, don't worry. See, those people, they will even collect money from you. See, Olachi, Olachi knows how to wash even better than them. Oh, God, don't worry. I'll wash your car every morning so that your car will be sparkling, sparkling whenever you are going to work. Olachi has got you covered. 
Here is your khaki, sir. Thank you. I'm going to take your khaki. Have a good day. Thank you. confused right now. I honestly don't know what to do or say. You see, okay, the manager is not happy about this at all. It doesn't look good. I know nothing about that missing document. I swear to God, I know nothing about it. But the problem right now is that no one seems to believe me. No one, no one wants to see things from my point of view. Can I ask you a question, okay? Sure. Does anyone know the code? Yes, no one else was supposed to have the code for where I see the document. But I told the manager about it. And of course, I could not have told the directors about it. Because they will blame me. The manager knows about the code. Both of us know about the code. So I believe now that he's betraying me. Okay. Don't worry, okay? You see, be courageous and uh, go and sort things out with him. Alright? I'll just monitor when he's alone in the office. When that happens, I'll go in there and try and sort things out with him. I'll see you later and uh, wish you good luck. And uh, I'll see you later. Ciao, right? Evening. Have you noticed how the people cut part of our salaries as part without our consent? Well, I have noticed it as well. But it baffles me how everyone just keeps quiet about it. I think they like it. I know. It's part of our company's policy. But the problem here is who will speak out first? No. I am tired of speaking out and nobody comes to support me when the need arises. So I have decided to keep quiet and watch where this like a cynical attitude is going to lead us to. Hmm. Trust me. Hey, hey. It will consume us soon. No. I refuse to be among the people that will be consumed. Count me out. If you know what I'm talking about. If this continues. <laughs> hey. I sure will have problem with this office. What do we do? I think we should ask for other people's opinions. <laughs> like you said, we can't do anything without their consent. Okay. Sandra, what are you doing here? Haven't I warned you to stop calling me? I mean, what else do you want from me? What else? Yes, Mom. Please, I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. I know you don't want to talk to me or see me right now, but please, I'm sorry. My heart yearned for you. I cannot live without you. Most impressive. How sweet that sounds from the mouth of a pretender. 
，有那是我的气，俺的气跑到出去了。Yes, please, please, I'm sorry. You see, the truth is, I have moved on, and I advise you to do the same. You're a chief, so you have to dance to the music, please. You should excuse me now. Good luck. Baby, you know, you know I love you. Why are you sleeping on the couch? And just before you answer that question, let me ask another question. What exactly is the bed in your bedroom meant for? What exactly is the bed in your bedroom meant for? Sleeping. For sleeping, right? Yes, sir. So why are you sleeping on my couch? I'm sorry, sir. Bed I don't want to ever come into this house again to see you sleeping on my couch. Okay? Yes, sir. If you feel like sleeping, you go into your bedroom and sleep, okay? Yes, sir. Dirty girl. Hmm. Have you had your bath? Have you had your bath, Olachi? No. No. Oh, you've not had your bath. And you had the audacity to lie on my couch. Please, sir, I, I said if I will, I will have my bath if I finish my uh, house chores. Dirty girl. You better go and have your bath right now. And don't ever try this again. I will not take it lightly with you if I ever come into this house. See you lying down on my couch. Let alone sleep. Try it again and you see what I will do to you. Sorry, sir. You better clean this place up. Look at this on my on my couch. Sorry, sir. You are using your 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 dirty in a water, idiot. Look at how the whole place is smelling. Try this again next time. Hey, what a precious woman. We have conducted the test and here's the result. Well, both of you are fit for procreation. However, we'll place you both on medication will increase the chances of making you get pregnant. Uh, doctor, we've been to several hospitals, different ones. All the doctors we've met in the past, all of them said that we are fit for procreation. The truth of the matter is, we are tired. Doctor, please. What is that is wrong with us? Hmm? Well, like I said, you guys are fit, 100%. But the drugs I will be prescribing to you will increase the chances. Okay? And believing God being on your side, everything will be fine. Doctor, we have taken so many hormonal medications from different hospitals in the past without any positive results. I understand how you feel. 
don't worry just try this last chance okay all right doctor Get the prescription. Okay. Honey. Oh. It sounded so urgent. What happened? What happened? Can you talk to me? Baby. I lost my job. No way. What? Just like that? Would you give her the chance to defend yourself at all? Did you not give me the time or the opportunity to defend myself? I think the manager wanted me to so this is the only opportunity for him to carry out his plans. Oh, my love, please, don't think too much about it. You know what? I'll keep managing my salary until you get a good job. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Thank you so much. What would I have done without you? Absolutely nothing. I know nothing at all. <laughs> It's okay. So have you eaten? Eat? How? How would I eat? I've lost my appetite. Oh, come on, it. You that is a foodie. Hola, T. Huh? Hola! Please make something for my husband to eat while I go back to work, okay? Okay, Do not forget to eat your food. Okay? I love you. Bye. Bye. Mama, what is it? Yes, my daughter. You know that my friends that are called uh, Alice. Mm -hmm. We attended the same primary school together. Mm -hmm. She was here yesterday and she came with a very good appeal. Which I know, I love so much and I know you love it. Mm -hmm. So what is the appeal? Uh -huh. She said that she wants you to be a second wife to her son. Eh, so you can be her grandchildren. Mama, yeah. you want me to be second wife to your friend's son so that I can bear her grandchildren. Mbam, I'm not doing. I will not marry. For what? Philomena, listen to me. I'm the one that gave birth to you. And I know what is right for you. I will not mislead you. Mama. This is good for you now. I know you know what is right for me. Huh. And I know what is right for myself. Mm -hmm. But as for this one, it's not right for me. I will not marry him. I won't be a second wife. That's not what I want for myself. Please. Philomena. Hey! Am I not your mother again? I know what is good for you. I know what is good for you. Hmm. You better listen to my advice. Mwan. The number of emergencies we do have in the hospital is much, it's getting much. Honestly, I'm getting tired of this our job. We just have to keep pushing until the management and the emergencies. I think you are right. You are right. We just have to keep pushing. So, my dear, how are you? I'm fine. Yes, 
Anthony. Really? I am off to work. What's your plan for the day? Well, some firms invited me for job interviews. I will attend later on in the day. Okay. I wish you best of luck. Thank you very much, my sweetheart. <laughs> okay. See you when you return. <laughs> okay. Bye. Love you. Love you too. And whoever that is a beautiful lady that wants to give them grandchildren, that they will buy that person a car. That is why I'm telling me that I'm persuading you again. Eh? Uh, uh, are you serious? Like, they will buy me a car? I am serious. Yes. They will buy you a car. Hmm? Or, or do, you, do you want to continue using the like, no, but Mama, I want to be sure you are serious about this. Very, character. very serious, my daughter. Very, very so if serious. I give birth, then you buy me a car. Yes! Uh, yes! So, and, and, and I've already had two kids. I don't have a car. Uh -huh. You see, I see it. Have you seen it? Okay, so, mom. this is the golden opportunity that is waiting for you. No problem. Uh -huh. I'll think about it. Okay, yeah, I know you. I'll think the spirit, at least. Yeah. I'll have mother day. I'll I know you. Hey, that's my daughter talking. Hey, mom. Hey, you sure about what? I am doing? sure. Very, very sure. Very sure. Let me go and finish. Hey! Uh -huh. Now you are talking. Honey? Hmm? I have observed a tremendous desire in me in having you since we started taking this medication. Hmm. Now I understand why you wouldn't let me rest. Anyway, I do feel the same way too. Uh, and I wish something positive would come out of this. Yeah. I pray so too. I mean, I can't wait to get pregnant, have a baby that calls you daddy and call me mommy. I can't wait. So baby, guess what? I will break back for you. I will empty all my accounts for you. Is it this town? <laughs> <laughs> this town will hear my name. <laughs> the child's education will be whoa. Wow. <laughs> I won't even say what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay, let's just pray that it happens. You see the real me. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It's you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am ready. So, hurry up so I can drop you on my way. It's okay. To work. Mm. It's alright. Why are you so beautiful? Oh, because I have the best husband. Look at you. Come on. You know what? Wow. Oh, let me help you stand up. What's that? Before I go. One. For the road. I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh mm. my. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. I didn't meet the person. Oh really? Yes. What's well, up? I, I came to get um, a few things, but they didn't even have what I wanted to get. Hey, yeah. So yes. how far now? What's going on? I gave my brother. What's up with you now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't that my? That's the official car I was using now. Ah. 
Okay, I'm so sorry I didn't tell you the latest. Yeah. You see, after your dismissal, the management tried in vain to get a replacement for you. So I was promoted to the position of the procurement manager. And I moved into your office and have all the necessary benefits. I'm sorry I didn't tell you the latest. This one. That's what, so all this happened and you did not think you should call me over the phone to tell me this? Like I said, I am so sorry. Everything happened so fast. Anyway, that's by the way. How did your job interview go? I hope it was fruitful. Are you for real? Yes, bro. That's one. Okay. You still even have the temerity. You were bold enough to look me in the eye and ask me how my job interview went. I meant well, bro. I should have known you were behind my predicament. Okay. You! That's one! How could you say a thing like that? I should okay. have known you were behind my predicament. Me behind your predicament? Nada, never. How could you say a thing like that? I know nothing about you. You're such a backstabber. Listen. You're a very good one at that. Listen, You're such okay. a I'm pretentious backstabber. It's far from I what you not think. Be, I should not no. be standing here and discussing with you. Okay, it's not what Leave you think. Leave my way. Okay. Get the hell out of my way now. What I've been telling you, but you refuse to listen to me. I have never liked that your friend this one for any reason. I haven't. What are you insinuating? What I'm insinuating is that he's the one behind your dismissal at work. Why would he accept a position so fast? You know this. This entire scenario is now beginning to make sense to me. That's what. Desmond, ah, if I ever find out that Desmond is actually the one behind my predicaments in that company, I will never forgive him in this life. Hmm. I will never. Please, let's talk of something else. How was your interview? It went well. They said I should expect a call back. Sweetheart, I cannot wait to get back to work. I cannot continue to stay at home like this. A grown man with a family sitting at home. It's okay. You will get a good job. Okay? Okay. I have to go and freshen up. I had a very stressful day at work. I swear to God. from your friend's house, Alice. Really? You know, I went there yesterday. Uh -huh. so today, we finally concluded. Are you serious? Uh -huh. Everything went well. Uh -huh. Are you serious? Yes. Hey! I'm up and But uh -huh. she said she wants us to go to the city very soon. And I told her I need to arrange myself. But is it like, I want to do some shakara small things. Mama! I want to shakara. Mama! No, mama. Let me, no, let me, mama, let me, you. Let me make her feel like this. I don't mm. know. Mm. Mm. I will make you proud. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I will. I will give you special gift. Hey, Just calm down. Hey, mama, mama. Hey, hey. Let me go and chase my friend, the latest gist in town. The new city mother. I'm sure you don't care. You know the gist. Huh? Hey, hey. You make me proud. I am happy. Philo, 
the biggest girl in this my village. My friend. I was actually coming to your house. Uh, really? Yes. I hope all is well. All is well. Something just came up. Really? What? What is it? Anyway, you know you're my good friend. Mm -hmm. And there's no way something comes up without coming to inform you, right? I'm going to the city. So I said, let me come and tell you about it. Are you sure? Yeah. But uh -uh, you want to leave me all alone in this uh, village? Ah. Uh, 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 I cannot leave you now. But the plan is when I get to the city mm -hmm. and I settle and everything is all right, I will come back to this village and take you with me. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> That mother-in-law that is better than you is fake. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy that you are learning everything I taught you about my son quickly. Yeah. I'm learning very fast. Yes, I can prepare your son's favorite meal. I can wash his clothes and even give him the way he wants it. Hi. The most important thing is to get pregnant in one night. One night? One night. Hi, my God. Eh? I thank God I was able to meet your mother and she was able to convince you to come see me. Uh, no problem, ma. uh, Mama. When are we going to the city? Um, I will fix that next week. But the most important thing now is we need to arrange you so that you will look good, more sophisticated, like buy good clothes for you that will make you look elegant. Hairs, different styles so that you will look better than that city wife. In that case, Mama, you have nothing to worry about. Because I know what to do. Uh, By the time your son sets his eyes on me, he will lose control. Yes, it will be like magic. <laughs> I trust you. I know what you can do. You got that girl? And I cannot wait for that day that you go and see my son. Me too, Mama. Hello, hello, hello. I'm done fixing it. Uh, okay. The next thing is to start cooking. Okay. Eh? I don't need like a natural good butterfly. Hello, hello, hello. Look in your skin, you good. Oh, mama, mama, get fun and cow. You'll be able to raise that huge amount of money. Honestly, I don't know how you're going to do it because. This is really getting really frustrating for me. I am going to source out for the money. Don't bother yourself. We have a cooperative in our institution that comes for people, for the members at times like this. I honestly don't know what I would have done without you. But I promise, as soon as I find a job, I will pay you back everything that I owe you. It's okay, my love. Okay? I love you. I love you. I love you too. Let's give me a little walk. Listen, I told you to try this out. Here. You will get the solution, so what's the problem? No, 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 no. That approach looks very difficult. Okay. It's very difficult now, eh? <sighs> eh? But anyway, let's try it. Now you're talking. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Come down a little. Okay. Like this? Eh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello. Good day. Hello. 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 Hello.
Is the boss around? Um, no. He's not available at the moment. What time do you think he'll be available? Um, it's a man now, eh? The boss is not around. Can we be of any help to you? We work with him now. How can we help you now? Wait a minute. Both of you work with this company now. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? The three of us attended this interview together. And definitely we did. But then one thing you should get straight is that Grace differs, okay? Okay, well, um, Mr. Kanayo, uh, you've really proven that you are experienced in this job. Thank you, sir. You have had all the questions for it. Thank you very much, sir. You're um, Miss Annabel Chima. Yes, sir. Can you recite the Nigerian National Anthem? Uh, I'll try. Okay, go ahead. Arise, O come, Pi Troy. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Not what it looks like. Uh, it's been so long I recited national anthem, so you uh, should understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see, I can see it. By the way, you said, uh, um, compa, compa, whatever. Um, please, um, Miss Kate Johnson. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> can you help her out? Yeah, sure. Uh, national anthem. I can. Wow. It's, it's very simple. Uh, That's right. I can go on, right? Yes, <laughs> Arise, oh, compact. Sir, is it Patroids? Like, oh, seriously? I got it, I got it, Are sir. you kidding me? I, sorry, I got it. Arise, oh, compact. <laughs> Sir, it's not like I can't recite the national anthem, but you know, I can't really put myself together right now to recite the national anthem. Uh, so, but I can do better. <laughs> oh, you know? Yeah, we can, I can do, do better. Be I mean, I can do better. <laughs> oh, this is, this is off it, man. So I can... I can recite the national anthem. Don't worry, Mr. Tana. Uh, um, I'm, I think I'm okay. I'm okay for now. Um, you guys will hear from us soon. Okay, sir. Mm. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Good luck. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, All right, sir. We will listen to this from you, sir. Exactly. <laughs> You know, we need the job, and you like it. I must say that you're not only intelligent, but you're also very, very smart. What? Thank you, Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ask me. You've secured the job. Ah, uh, just like that. I know. <laughs> well, I hope so. Let me tell you. With what you displayed in there, my dear, you showed nothing but absolute competence. Oh. I'm telling you. Ha. Huh. I'm really humbled by what you just said right now. Thank you. Sorry, sorry, I have a call. Okay. Hello? Yes, hello, who is this? Oh! Okay, sir, okay. 
All right. Um, Annabelle, right? Yeah. The manager said we should come back to the office. Okay. So. All right, now, you guys, rest of luck, okay? Let me hey, go on my way. All right, bye. 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 Take care. Okay. See you guys later. Grace is really different. <laughs> Did he hear you? I heard it. The guy is really deep. <laughs> My dear, I need this money as soon as possible, at Sabu. What do you need such amount of money from the cooperative for? Are you sure you've not fallen into the hands of scammers? Come off it. Do you know I'm bigger than that? I have my senses intact. I know what I am doing. It's just that since my husband lost his job, it's not been easy for us. I have, I have to use that money to sort some family differences. Please, help me out. I understand your plight. I will help you to raise this money as quickly as possible. All I advise you is help your husband, support him, especially in times like this. Please, I've been doing that, I've been trying, but it's not that easy. What is he doing about it? He's been hunting from one company to another, but none has clicked. You still have to help him. You still have to support him, look for jobs in town. When am I getting the money, please? As soon as possible. Relax. Relax now. Your face is like this. Oh, all is well. You had better mind the business that pays you in this house, which is housekeeping. Okay? Stop delving into something that is not your business. Alright? Oh, okay, sir. My face was looking at you. That's why I asked. Sir, sir should, I, should I come and give you your food? around to see a client. So I said, let me come and check on you. You did well. Thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm. My dear, I'm fine. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm just sitting here praying and hoping that someday God will answer my prayer. Anyway, there's something I need to talk to you about your situation. It's okay to pray. I mean, everybody loves praying. But I think that it's about time you explore. 
How do you mean? I think you should seek solution through Abba. Abba? Are you advising me to take all this concussion that it makes with different kind of rubbish that does not even have measurement? Is that what you're saying I should go and take? I have seen and I've heard other women worked for testifying. And I just think that it's not a bad idea if you get to try. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. <sighs> um, I will speak to my husband about it and get back to you. <gasps> okay. Listen, girl. Hey. Remember that girl I told you about? That girl now, the one that's holding a party next week. Yeah. Don't tell me you won't go this time, Mom. We'll go <sighs> together. And I'm going to be the one to pick out your dress. I'll try. Uh -uh. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Don't tell me you will try. The truth is that I am... I'm born down to see that. I am tired of going from one establishment to another, searching for a job without any success. I understand how you feel, honey. But trust me, you have to persist until you succeed. Persist for how long? How long am I supposed to keep doing this? The worst is that I don't even understand the criteria with which they hire anymore now. I don't understand it. The last establishment that I went to, they employed two ladies who clearly could not even express themselves in an open interview. Really? Yes. I understand that these hiring managers can be corrupt at times. But you're not going to quit because of them. Please. Oh God. I just hope something shows up for me very soon. Because I am frustrated. No, you're not, honey. You will soon have a good job. You just keep saying I will have a job like there is one job lined and waiting there for me to come and acquire. That's because I have spoken with one of my colleagues. And she has promised me to do something about it. She had this contact in one of these um, big establishments. And she's going to do something on your behalf, on my behalf. So you're going to be getting a good job soon. You know what? Just have some water and relax. I can understand you had a very hectic day. Have some water so you can relax. All I'm saying is that we don't need to put all our eggs in one basket. Okay? There is nothing wrong with us trying this Haba remedy to our problems. Who knows? Are you sure it's going to work? Honestly speaking, I don't trust all these roadside Haba vendors. The people Treasure told me about are not roadside vendors. She spoke so well about them. She said so many families are giving testimony to their medication. So we can give it a try. Honey, our doctor has already given us medication. Don't you think taking this herbal medication will contradict your daughter's medication we are taking? I honestly don't know about that. But you see, in our condition, Nobody will blame us if we do anything. So let's just give this a try. It might just work.
Uh, I'm... I'm sorry for barging in on you. It's, it's okay, sir. I came to tell you that I'm hungry now. So if you don't mind, please serve my food. Okay, okay sir. When you, when you serve the food, please add a lot of vegetables and, um, and fish. Oh, okay, sir. One more thing. Anytime you want to take your bath, please endeavor to shut the door and lock it. Mama, why do you always come to the house without the prayer notice? Bernard, ah, relax. Have you forgotten that your mother is full of surprises? I can do anything at any ah, time. Mama, Mama, I know. But I want you to realize one fact that I am a married man. So before you come to my house, let me know so I can discuss with my wife. Ah, Bernard, as far as I am concerned, you are still single and searching. What shows that you have a woman living with you? Eh? I need the cry of a baby, even if you don't need. I need grandchildren. Actually, me. God's time is the best, Mama. In His own time, God will give us children, plenty of them. After 10 years, God's time is the best. Have you forgotten that? Heaven helps those who help themselves. Don't allow that witch. That devil you are staying with, don't allow her to deceive you. Uh, eh? uh, uh, stop calling my wife names, Mama. Mm, Biko, no, calm Mama, down. stop calling my calm wife down. names. Calm down. She has nothing to offer. Eh? After 10 years, nothing to show. See, you don't have to miss this opportunity. Just look at, look at my side. Nemo, I found one. And in case he has not seen you very well, just shift more. Come, rotate. Just look at this. Heaven endowed beauty. If you are looking at the good, you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. This is tested and confirmed. Tested and trusted. She is a good striker. Win and forever. You will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. Nine months. You will be able to do it. Two boys at a time. Before two years, you will be able to do it. Ten boys. Try it. Yes. Eh? You will not regret anything. Mama. Eh? Um, ma Mama is right. <laughs> yes. I have everything a man will want from a woman. And trust me, I will give you just the way you want it. She's a good goalkeeper. I don't mind. God. If, if, if you get close to me. I, I want you to go try and see. What, just try and see. You will confirm. That's what you talk to me. If you touch me, you will see the other side of me. I don't want to raise my voice. I, I respect you so much, my, my, as my mother. But please do not cross your boundary, Mama. You are crossing your boundary. Enough! I have beat me. Push me. I don't want to raise my voice, but you, you, you're pushing beyond the limit. I am not going anywhere, and she is not going anywhere. Mama, take she out of my house. Take her out. Mama, take her out of my house. Nemo. Now. Eh? You are not. Nemo. Mm -hmm. Don't mind him. Just look at him. This is your husband's house. Your house. Please and please take her out of my house now. No, no. Don't mind what he is saying or how he's reacting. Mm -hmm. You know how men behave. Mm -hmm. I know he loves you, he likes you, he has seen everything. And this is Inisha Gara Gara. Hey, what a girl? Don't mind him. Let us go to your room. Eh? Nah, after you come and meet her in your room so that she will open. You will enter. Grandchildren will come out, eh? They like, they're not, they're not. <laughs>
You know what? I would advise that you leave that octodose medication. The effect for herbs is very effective. Why not give it a try? My dear, I was skeptical initially. Mm. But you see those pregnancy testimonies I have in there. Mm. It has lifted my spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I can't wait for your testimony. <laughs> I can't wait to. Uh, you know, my greatest challenge will be my husband. It won't be easy to convince him because he he does not like anything that has to do with Habao at all. Yeah. Well, you have to talk to him. You have to make him understand. Very sure you are set. Thank you. <laughs> so much. Sir, so please. The truth is, I am here on behalf of my husband. He lost his job and he's in dire need of another job. Sir, so please, I want you to make it possible for him to work in this company with us. Please. What you're asking me to do is professionally wrong. It's very, very difficult for me to do. You're my last hope. I don't have any other person. I do not know your husband. As a result, I don't know if he can fit into the vision of this he company. He does. He's the perfect candidate for that job. Trust me. A trial will convince you. In that case, I... you give me time to speak with my superiors, then I'll get back to you. No problem, sir. It's okay. Please, just help me out. I beg you. I will be anticipating. I will try my best. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. The joy of every grandparent is to see their grandchildren. The joy of every grandparent is to Mama, the house is fine. Like I said, don't worry yourself. In two weeks, just give me two weeks, I'll get pregnant. Really? Yes. Anyway, I trust you. I know what you can do. <laughs> just feel at home. Okay. This is your husband's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Um, uh, Mama? Huh? You came back. Oh, oh. <laughs> it shocked you. 
It's your calm. Uh, it's your calm. Uh, I am back. I told you I would be back. And this time around, I came back in grand style. Fully prepared for you. Well prepared for you. And who is this? This thing? Ah! This? Oh! <laughs> no! Asama, mm -hmm. get up for her so that she can look at you very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, look at her very well. Yeah? Oh! You don't need to bother yourself about the question and answer. I will answer you. Bernard has sent me and he likes what he saw. Exactly. And I'm here to do what you were not able to do for the past 10 years. Yes. I give you three days and I'll get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Did you hear her? Yes. Mama, you is two weeks, but she three days. I trust you. Um, nah. You heard her very well, right? Mm -hmm. So you are the one to leave this house. You have to go in, pack your things and leave. But before that, nah, it seems we are forgetting something. Mm -hmm. Tell her, how many did you burn and give away? Hey. So boys, <laughs> by mistake, give away. <laughs> but now, I planned it. I am ready for it. So I'm going to give you five. In how many years? Mama, you were saying one year, but you know one year is not five years. Five years? Yes. Okay, did you hear? Yeah. <laughs> so she will give me grandchildren, ten boys, hey. within five years. Enoria, Mama, I can see that you're taking my gentility for cowardice. You think I'm stupid? Huh? I've been respecting you because of my mother-in-law. But it's obvious that you don't like respect. Mama, today, I will show you the tigress that is in me. I will show you that I'm not normal. Wait for me. And as for you, I will let those two balloons have behind you. Hold the wait for you. You cannot let Who is this one? Jealousy. Who is that one? Because she doesn't, have, she doesn't have ass. No. She thought it's fake. It's not fake. Oh. It's no. original. No. You cannot let see. No, 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 Relax. Enjoy yourself. This is your husband's house. something I want to say to you. I'm all ears. Uh, sir, please, I, I am sorry in advance if what I'm about to say to you will upset you. Olaji. I'm not in a very good mood right now. Okay? So if you want to say something, go ahead and say it and then leave. Okay, sir. Um, sir, I noticed you've been at home and unhappy recently. And that's because you lost, lost your job. But, sir, I want you to cheer up because I have been praying for you. You have been praying for me. Yes, sir. Very well. And in my dream, I saw that you have a new job. A very good one. I, I hope your dream comes to pass. And sir, in that same dream, I saw a very bright, shining light Moving around you. I am certain you will rejoice soon. I am very, very certain about it. Amen. Amen. I... I pray that this your dream comes to pass. And if it does, I promise I will appreciate you in a very special way. I am very happy I made you smile. 
I'm done with your food. Should I serve it now? No, no, I'm, I'm not hungry now, but when I'm hungry, I will let you know. Okay, sir. <laughs> 